OK, let's get more on that breaking news that possession of nitrous oxide, also known as laughing gas, is going to be made illegal by the end of the year. Uh, users are going to face up to two years in prison under a zero-tolerance approach to anti-social behaviour. You can see those discarded balloons, also those little gas canisters. There they are, that uh, litter parks and pavements. Sky Sergeant Chowdhury has been reporting on the impact of laughing gas for some time now and joins us on the line. Um, so, nitrous oxide going to be made illegal after a lot of campaigning, Sergeant? Yeah, it, it's been something that campaigners, uh, in fact, also healthcare workers, have been talking about for a long time because uh, while this is a party drug which is uh, perceivably quite harmless because it gives people just a sort of 60-second high, its repeated use, or we should say misuse, is leading to some people having really serious injuries. And you might have seen some of our reporting earlier this year when we spoke to a man who'd ended up in a wheelchair, uh, unable to walk. We've also spoken to people who have lost feelings in their fingers and toes. We've heard reports that someone lost their eyesight uh, from repeated use um, of nitrous oxide. As I say, it's, it's commonly used as a party drug. It doesn't stay in the system, so it's something that lots of people go to. And I have to say it's all ages. When we were investigating this, it wasn't just young people. We spoke to people of all ages who routinely go out and, and use this. You, you'll see it, it discarded, the sort of canister discarded around the street. So there's an antisocial behaviour issue here. There's a health issue at, at, at play here as well. And police have said that um, they're worried about people using it while they're driving. We've seen videos be posted online where people are using it. A reminder that nitrous oxide is currently not banned because it's used in the catering industry as um, a whippant. It, it's used inside the whipped cream canisters to whip cream. In fact, some people even use it at home to, to make their coffees nicer. And so this is going to, there's going to be, have, to, have to be a lot of questions answered on how this is going to be regulated. As a Class C drug, it does mean that possession of nitrous oxide will, could lead to a two-year prison sentence. Supplying it could lead to up to 14 years uh, prison sentence. But as I say, lots of people use it and there'll be questions about that. Now, you'll remember that earlier this year, Sky News did an investigation looking at the supply of nitrous oxide. So we saw the impact, but we also investigated how widely it is supplied. And we've gone into corner shops and they were being supplied alongside the balloons without the balloons being asked for, because the balloons are, of course, what's used to inhale the gas from them. And all the shops that we went into were also providing us balloons without us asking. They weren't checking the age. They weren't asking what it's for. And, and at the time when we spoke to experts, they all said it is the supply that needs to be cut down. You know, it's no point banning its use because it would just drive it underground. We need to look at the supply. And in fact, when our report was raised in PMQs, the prime minister was asked about this and he said he would look into it um, with, with the scope of potentially banning it. In fact, the Home Office's own advisory body, the a uh, body that advises the government on drugs and misuse of drugs, did a review. They'd done one previously. They said nitrous oxide shouldn't be banned. They've done one very, very recently, and they said, uh, following our report, they, uh, that, re that report came on, they said it, it shouldn't be banned. It's the supply that needs to be tackled. So it's interesting that the Prime Minister's gone ahead and uh, banned uh, the possession of um, nitrous oxide as well. I've got a quote here from the Home Secretary, Stella Braverman, who said, the British people are fed up with yobs abusing drugs in public spaces and leaving behind a disgraceful mess for others to clean up. And she continues saying, earlier this year, the Prime Minister and I promised a zero-tolerance approach to antisocial behaviour, and that is what we are delivering. If you are caught using laughing gas as a drug, you could be hit with a hefty fine or face jail time. And as, we, as, as I said, the Advisory Council itself had recommended tougher um, crackdown on supply, not on possession. So it'll be interesting to see how this works and also how it will work for small businesses, small catering businesses and those individuals at home who currently use it for you know, its intended purpose, which is to whip up cream. Yeah, as you've been saying, nitrous oxide, uh, the third most used drug among 16 to 24-year-olds in England and uh, has those links to antisocial behaviour as well. Sadia, thank you very much.